Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. It's Saturday morning. It's a little bit on the foggy side as we record our usual weather overtime, our exclusive video weather blog for Saturday. And as of right now, decently quiet, but we will be seeing some changes coming our direction, including the possibility of some severe weather in the Mid-South as we get into Monday. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Have to thank Mr. Michael Gates for the coffee, for bringing along some Jay Brooks coffee for this morning and keeping that get everybody going this morning on daybreak so thank you very much for that forecast on the red bar at the bottom of your screen mostly sunny today after much of that fog burns off winds northeast today and temperatures for highs back in the mid to upper 50s could be a few 60s out there not by much and then later on tonight temperatures back in the 30s with mostly clear skies and winds northeast but they will be turning back out of the southeast as we go into the course of the next couple of days next three hours temperatures back in the upper 40s by the time we work our way through the early morning hours into to late morning and early afternoon. Temperatures will be back into the lower to mid 50s for high temperatures today. Maybe a degree or two cooler than what we saw yesterday but still pretty pleasant as you head out the door throughout the course of the rest of the day today. No umbrella necessary, no rainfall expected today, but again, that could be a different story as we get into the next couple of hours through about Monday morning. We've only gotten an inch plus for the entire month, and November is usually one of our rainiest months of the year. We should be at nearly four and a half inches of rainfall. We've only picked up over an inch. We are behind by nearly three and a third inches for the entire month. Our surplus for the year is dwindling rapidly. We're now down below six inches for the entire year. Normally we should be at just about 47 inches. We have 52 in the bank, but we could use a little bit more than that to help ward off the dry wildfire weather we've had over the Mid-South. About as close to normal as you could possibly get for yesterday on temperatures. 41 the low, 57 the high, 82 the record high today set back in 1965, and 1977 our record low of 24 degrees above zero. So decently on the chilly side out there throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South. Heading into the course of the rest of the day today, the clouds and the fog will be burning off and through about mid to late morning, temperatures will be back in the mid to upper 30s to the mid to upper 40s. Cooler into the northwestern Tennessee, northeast Arkansas area today, mid to upper 40s there, lower to mid 50s across much of the rest of the area. And that's will be about our peak temperature of the day as well. Some 60s out there, but more than likely going to be mainly mid to upper 50s across much of the Mid-South. Dinner time tonight, News Channel 3 at 6, temperatures back in the mid 40s to lower 50s, past sunset into the rest of the evening, mid to upper 30s to lower 40s just before News Channel 3 at 10. And by tomorrow, we'll begin to see the winds start to turn a little bit out of the south and east. That's going to keep the temperatures up a bit into the rest of the weekend. But we should be seeing clear skies, which means possible frost across the area. Fog possible. Wouldn't turn it down a little bit more of that coming our way, but it is going to be mainly just frost out across the area with temperatures like this. So remember to scrape the entire windshield clean just to be on the safe side there. Numbers through the rest of the day, mid to upper 50s, almost exactly spot on for where we should be at this time of the year. Heading into Sunday, temperatures back in the lower 60s. We'll start off sunny and then head through again the cloudy conditions into the evening hours. Chances of rain by News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday. Showers and thunderstorms develop early. Monday morning before sunrise and then through the rest of the day to and from work and school commute in both directions could be on the sloppy side showers and a few thunderstorms possible throughout the rest of the day and that again could mean we should could see the possibility of some severe weather out there marginal threat at this time slight risk of severe weather well to our south. We'll be watching that again with a lot of interest, so stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the next few days on that. Early showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday, and then back to showers on Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures closer to normal in the mid to upper 50s throughout the rest of the week. Showers and thunderstorms return to the area the first weekend of November. Could be on the stormy side, and into next next Monday, the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms lingering around. Again, that's something we will be watching, and all of this forecast will be changing, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the next few days for updates. Fog into tomorrow morning could be a bit of a problem as we see some low visibilities out there for Sunday morning. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates there. Weather where the troops are heading back into Iraq. Temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s at just past 5 o'clock Iraq time, but no major storms or any problems being seen there. 
and Gulf. Some showers and thunderstorms around Riyadh and around Bahrain yesterday. To cover here and there, and temperatures in the mid to upper 60s to the lower 70s. Heading back into Afghanistan a little bit later, 6 o'clock in the evening on Saturday, 27 degrees up around Herat, 40s around Kandahar and Kabul, and 24 degrees in Faizabad, but no rain or snow being reported here. And over toward the Korean Peninsula, mainly just clouds, some showers around Pusan, temperatures in the mid 40s, close to freezing around Kunsan, Chuncheon and Seoul around 35, and Taegu at 34 degrees. Not doing too bad out there, at least no snowfall around the DMZ or points south, so good news at that location. Thanks to Lori Robertson Naylor, especially Peyton Naylor, for sending in a great sunrise shot from Mount Gilad, or Gilead, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, from Bethel Springs, Tennessee. Some very good shots this morning. Deborah J54, sunrise, and a little bit on the cold side, assuming around Humboldt, Tennessee, this morning. Uh, thanks to Michelle0416 for a very nice Thanksgiving montage from the last couple of days, and thanks to the Thanksgiving thanks there. And Susie F. Homemaker, a very nice view of sunrise through the fog in and around western Tipton County for this morning. Like to send anything in, Aonic underscore WRAG3 on Twitter, Austinonic WRAG on Facebook, and Aonic no underscore necessary WRAG3 on Instagram. Tune in for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. It's available on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. No matter what phone or app you have, download our weather app. It's available through the App Store. Just search WREG Weather, and you should be able to find that there pretty easily. Again, that possibility of severe weather coming up on Monday. We're going to be tracking that throughout the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more details there. We'll have updates on your forecast throughout the weekend here on News Channel 3 and at WREG.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, or ideas, if you have anything you'd like to see on here besides what we're featuring, right now. Go ahead and drop me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com and you'll be able to text me there and let me know what you think. Complaints if you absolutely have to and let me know what you think about our weathercast and how we can make it more so you will tune in as much as possible throughout the next several days and weeks. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic, live and direct from the News Channel 3 Studios Weather Center and stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.